Hey everybody. Hello boys and girls. The magic word for today is tired. Tired. Uh, we biked 116 miles today. We crossed into a new state, Utah. And, um, you know, I was thinking about it while I was riding that a lot of you have been very supportive about, you know, wow, it was a big challenge, you know, across the United States and everything. And uh, in the macro scope, it is a big challenge, but it actually is a big challenge on a daily basis. And uh, today was one of those days that epitomizes the uh, all the aspects of what makes it challenging. So I actually wrote down all those little things so I could share them with you, especially if you're not a cyclist. I might give you a little bit more of an idea of what a day is like and what uh, what it takes to get through the day and why why it is a challenging day. Um, we had everything today. We had wind, uh, at times in your face, at times crosswinds. We had dust. You could taste it in your mouth. Uh, we had traffic. We had single lane highway for a lot of it. Not always the best shoulder and sometimes cars you know, you have to negotiate a little bit. At times we have cars uh, that are passing in the opposite direction. Cars that are too slow for them and they're in our lane coming right at us. And uh, obviously you're all the way over and avoiding that car, but uh, a, little, a little intimidating and not something that I've seen too often. Uh, holding onto the wheel of the person in front of you, that's a challenge. Um, you know, when you're dead tired and you got 10 miles to go and you're following Austin and Joseph, if, if you lose that wheel, you're gone. Uh, fortunately, when I did lose the wheel the one uh, towards the end, they let me catch up. So um, it depends, but you want to hold on to that wheel. It's a lot easier to follow the bike in front of you and have them breaking the wind and you can, uh, and, and you can draft behind them than to face the wind yourself. It was cold this morning very cold didn't even have the right clothes I don't think for the day but it warms up fast enough that you don't really want to put on all those clothes because you're just going to, have to take them off your uh, you know the an extra coat or long finger gloves or a skull cap or a base layer shirt or something like that so we went with the vest and the sleeves and uh, dealt with it till it got warmer cumulative fatigue on body parts that knee is still bugging me I'm icing it down right now in hopes that it'll feel better in the morning it was bothering me this morning, and then later in the day it was okay, so we just deal with it. Distance is a challenge, 116 miles, and climbing. Obviously, the more miles you ride, the more likely it is that you're going to do some climbing. And as a review, we had some serious climbing to do today. Some fun descents into town, but it's a challenge. You know, but it's a challenge that I, I uh, chose to do. And so uh, you go after it. There are some folks out there that have challenges that they didn't choose. It just fell upon them. Um, in an article in American Way magazine this month, they uh, had an interesting article on cancer with children. And um, let me read something to you from that article. It says, this week is National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. A time to bring attention to the 12,500 children who are di diagnosed with cancer and the 2,300 children who die of cancer every year. While it's a top, the top disease killer of children and an illness that causes lifelong damage in 60% of survivors, in terms of um, numbers, it's only a blip on the radar compared to breast cancer and many other potentially fatal adult diseases that strike hundreds of thousands a year. These folks, obviously these families, these children need our help. You know, um, it's very expensive. It, there's a lot involved. Uh, ran into an old uh, colleague of mine from uh, my last job and his son was diagnosed with testicular cancer uh, like Lance and it was going down to Houston um, to be treated for that. He's a teenager and um, you know it's 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 tough and if all of us pull together and help we can make a difference so if you haven't donated to Live Strong yet my cause for this ride you can click on the link and and do that if you already have or uh, or even if you haven't 
think about also spreading the word to your network. They may not know me, but they probably know someone who has been diagnosed uh, with cancer or has battled cancer, or someone in their family, a friend, and they might uh, be a perfect uh, person to, to inform about what I'm trying to do. So think about that. And, and again, we're not asking for large donations. We're asking for little bits from everybody because a little bit from a lot of people adds up to a lot. So I hope you can help out. Tomorrow, uh, another big day, 100 miles, and we'll cross another border. We're going to go from Utah. Uh, we're in Mexican hat, and we'll go to Cortez, Colorado. So we're crossing into Colorado. Pretty exciting. So until tomorrow, be safe, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.